Hey guys, um, it's Melps here, and welcome to another Melps Talks video. So, in this Melps Talks video, I will be discussing another one of my fears. So, you guys know that I have a fear of bugs. That's one of them, but I have another fear that is still kind of with me after so many years. I mean, I don't mind, you know, watching videos of these things, but they kind of still give me nightmares to this day. And it is animated toys. To be specifically, animated Elmo toys. You know, those toys that move around when you press a button. I'm sure you guys have had, you know, some of those toys as kids. I mean, I, I did too. And I enjoyed some of them. You know, like Dance Star Mickey, Bigfoot for a little bit. Which, by the way, he cost $100. Holy crap. But there were some times where I got a little terrorized by them. And again, I'm talking specifically Elmo. And why Elmo, you may ask? Well, I mean, you would look at Elmo and think, well, I mean, he's just an innocent, you know, adorable little red monster. And yes, I, I agree. He is just an adorable red monster. But, I mean, I guess, I mean, well, I did watch Elmo's World when I was a kid. And um, I absolutely um, enjoyed Elmo's World, you know, as a kid. But... I mean, I guess, you know, as I looked at the animated, you know, Elmo toys, they just kind of scared me for different reasons. And some of them kind of have a story behind them. So I will show you a few examples. So the first one being Shell Elmo. Basically, Shell Elmo is a Elmo doll that, you know, when you press its foot, it would encourage you to shout along with him and spin its arms, you know, around and around and... <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, I love the song that he sings. I mean, I could sing the beginning, you know, kind of all the time. Well, you make Elmo wanna show, beat up Elmo. <laughs> no, 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 just kidding. Shake your fur out and show, throw your hands up and show. I do enjoy that little bit of the song at the beginning. But, you know, at some points of the song, his voice, you know, um... You know, he would tell you to, you know, get softer and softer and be more quieter. Now that part of the song, that unsettles me. Ugh. I mean, I can imagine, you know, as Elmo's like getting softer, he's just getting more creepier and then the room is just getting darker and then ugh, more creepy things happen. So yeah, I had that toy when I was a kid, and you know, there's some parts that, you know, I enjoyed of it, and some parts I didn't. You know, another part of it that I didn't really like is, you know, how it's simple, how the way it moved. Now, I had another Elmo toy that I had as, as a kid, and I have quite a history of. Now, you guys might know this one. Tickle Me Elmo, or as what others would call it, TMX Elmo. That's the one where if you press its foot, or tummy, or chin, then, you know, it would get tickled. Each time, you know, it would get stronger. And, um, it would, you know, have three, you know, tickle phases. And, yeah, that's pretty much all it would do. And then it would move around a lot. I remember, um, I had that toy and, you know, it kind of, you know, just lunged forward. You know, because, I mean, it, it would do that, I guess. And I swear, you know, as a little kid, I thought it was coming to attack me. So I was so scared of that toy that it had to be put away for, in the back of the box for, I, I don't know, at least a month or maybe even a couple months. But after that, we got it back out of the box and I, I enjoyed the heck out of it. So that's one thing that, you know, terrorized me. But there's another thing that made this toy, not the toy itself worse, but my fear worse. I'm not even going to put a clip in here because, you know, but there is, um, you know, a video. It's still on YouTube and it was posted back in 2007 um, of TMX Elmo being on fire. I watched that as a kid and um, ever since I, I started having nightmares about, you know, um, the animated Elmo toys being on fire and chasing me or whatnot, just nonsense dreams. It just sucks that, you know, um, I have some traumatizing um, memories about, you know, the Elmo toys. I mean, I know traumatizing is a strong word, but I can't think of anything else. 
than that, because I mean, I will admit Elmo was you know a part of my childhood, especially Elmo's World, and there were some things I enjoyed about it, but every time I look at that, you know those animated Elmo toys, I can't help but to, you know, be kind of unsettled by them, and I don't usually talk about it either because of how. Creepy and how um you know unsettling it is to me. It's it's weird because I mean it's just Elmo toys for God's sakes. But hey, everyone has their own fears, you know. Also, uh, just a little side note, um, I came across you know one of the creepiest you know Elmo toy videos I came across. I know I just said that twice, but whatever. Um, it was about you know okay it says Elmo possessed, but. Um, people tend to put that in titles all the time, but it was literally about, you know, an Elmo doll, you know, being on low batteries and stuff like that, but it was so, so low, it didn't even sound like Elmo anymore, and, uh, it was acting in a way that wasn't right. I- I'm not kidding, like, when I say this, but, but yeah, that's probably the creepiest Elmo, uh, doll video I've seen. But anyways, I think that's going to conclude this um, Mouse Talks video. So, hope you guys enjoy me talking about my uh, other fear that I have. So, <laughs> yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. So, yeah. This is Mouse signing off. Bye, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.